In this video I got two races for you today, both of which include dirty drivers who tried to crash me out, but instead got instant karma and ended up ruining their own races. So make sure you stick until the end, as the ending of both races is extremely satisfying. And trust me, you don't want to miss them. Enjoy the video. Right, so for this first race then we're starting in second place, and the man to keep an eye out for is none other than the leader himself, the pole sitter. The Frenchman there in the Aston Martin, he's the man to keep an eye out for. Right, so as we go through the first corner, then he actually... Go, it's actually pretty quick through the first corner, so he makes somewhat of a gap. Already I'm outside of slipstream range. Thankfully though, we don't get overtaken by the Italian behind us there. Uh, so that's, I suppose that's a good start, because it's really easy to get overtaken through the first corner if you go a bit too slowly. However, as we go through the dash chicane, he hits the outside wall, we get really close. I don't know if we hit it or not, and the Italian there actually behind us, it seems, looks like he made a mistake through the dash chicane, and we put, uh, get closer to the French guy there after the mistake he did, that's going to allow us to be well within slipstream range now then, and the Italian drops all the way down to 5th, at a big gap behind us there, so I think we should be safe to just f put our attention on the French driver, and try to force him into a mistake maybe, or something, catch up to him. See if we can overtake him. As we go through the fast chicane here, very difficult to get correct. Really, really easy to mess up there. And that's exactly what he does. He actually goes a bit wide there onto the grass. There's a bit of time. And as we go through the hairpin, we look for a move. But we're not going to be, not even remotely close enough to go for a move. We're just having a look there, making sure, see how close we are. Maybe we're close to a move. Anyway then, as we go through the chicane here, we're getting closer to the chicane. This is the final chicane leading into the fast right corner he goes very deep here and that's gonna allow me to get a good exit and it's gonna allow me not only to get a good exit but to actually go side by side with him side by side with him through this fast corner here and he pushes me off he pushes me off the track doesn't leave me space so I just back out of it and this is when I realized that this man is not a clean driver and I should probably be careful of him if I want to overtake him or something like that so I should probably Instead of trying to overtake him, maybe force him into a mistake and force him to lose the position or, you know, something along those lines. But should probably just be, be careful if I want to finish this race. As we go through the dash again there for the second time, he's once again going to hit the outside wall. I get really close, again, really close there, but that doesn't actually hit the wall. And he ungoes right as I was on his tail. I was trying to go through him, but yeah, you know, it said he ungoes right as I was on his tail. And I give him a bit of a push there. Thankfully, I don't push him off the track or I don't get a penalty or anything. And he had not intended, but it, it was what it was. And now, though, I'm well in slipstream range, but obviously, this fast chicane here is not a good place to go for a move. So I kind of back off a bit. I go on the red uh, stuff there and kind of makes the car a bit understeer, kind of pushes you off. So I go a bit slow here. It goes wide again, but I think he gains more time more time than he lost and as we go through the hairpin once again gonna get really close especially on the exit get a much much faster to the corner there we carried a lot more speed and as we go through this chicane for the f uh, second time the final chicane here for the second time he does pretty much the same mistake he did last time he goes deep and that's gonna allow me to get a better exit however this time I thought to myself I'm not gonna overtake him I'm just gonna go I'm gonna give him the bomb draft and yeah, I'm gonna see what <laughs> I'm not I was fully expecting him to break this me to be honest. And that is exactly what he's going to do. As we go through this right kink here, you can see turns presses on the brakes and that pushes him front way too much, way too much speed through here. And he can't quite break in time. Goes really really wide, side by side on the exit, and he starts ramming into my side. I was once again expecting this. So I kept the car as stable as I can, but he loses this car instead and drifts all the way off. So having a look at the replay here, you can see he just drifts off, loses one position, two positions as he gets taken by the Golden Aston Martin, down to fourth. But that's not all. As we go to the dash chicane then, you can see he hits the inside wall somehow, I don't, I'm not, I don't know how he made that mistake. Then hits the other wall, and hits the exit wall again, loses two more, mis two more positions. But that's still not all. As we go through the hairpin here, looking behind, there's a guy that tried to overtake him, he just blocks him off goes wide onto the tarmac there but that's still not all as this beetle here he break that's the beetle the beetle is like i'm not having it with you pushes him off the track into the barriers and that's still not all now currently he's in p8 p9 overtakes him or now he's in p9 tries to cover it off the porsche there 
but he wasn't he was ghosted so he couldn't do anything goes wide then he kind of cuts the corner and through here way way offline and he goes wide again hits the wall tips the wall goes into the spin and yeah there you go drops all the way down 13th and then he just disconnects so yeah definitely one of the most satisfying things i've ever seen and as for me i just went on to win the race completely uncontested about five seconds of gap there behind us even got the fast slap there but yeah definitely one of the most satisfying things i've ever seen in this game altogether and i could probably watch that a hundred times right then so now time for the second race this time once again starting in second place man to keep an eye out for this time is the italian down in p4 ahead of us we have the portuguese driver and behind us we have the dutchman also remember the dutchman for later on but it's more of a victim really so through the first corner a bit of a slide there midway through the corner but so does the guy ahead of us there so don't lose too much time to him behind us though he lose a lot of time to us and managed to make somewhat of a gap here at the start however as we go through the dash chicane that's all gotta change because i hit the inside wall and uh, yeah no classic dash chicane move there drop all the way down to fifth nearly into sixth as pretty much similar to what happened last time i ghosted just as the man was right behind me and he ended up hitting me from the back Nothing too major though, no one got penalties I don't think. But now we're settling into P5 then, so we had a chance to win the race, but there we are now in P5. Ahead of us we have the Spaniard, and then ahead of us, ahead of him, sorry, we have the Dutchman and the Italian. Who are having somewhat, a, a very aggressive battle I should say, the Italian there. Getting himself half a second time penalty, I'm not sure for what, probably cut the corner or something. Uh, Spanish guy ahead of us also making a mistake of it there. Uh, seeing if we can make an advantage of it, obviously putting off to the left hand side, but obviously too far off to go for a move. However, on the exit, we get a better exit, try to go around the outside, but doesn't really have too much room, so we back out of it. Let's see, maybe we can make a move on the main straight, that's probably the best chance to make a move with the slipstream. Through the, through the chicken, however, the Spanish goes wide, and the Beetle there, or is that a Beetle? I don't know, the Volkswagen, the, uh, what do you call it, the South African driver goes for a random dive bomb there that I did not expect and but it should be an easy overtake obviously <laughs> this car not quick in a straight line at all compared to the Supra as well as the Sipstream so easy, easy overtake there and he does try to go for a move again try to go down the inside but he goes right through me not sure what happened there but keep an eye out on the two guys ahead of us you can see they're, they're going side by side the Italian obviously not too happy with that and he just starts weaving into his side <laughs> And as you can imagine, going side by side with Dash Chicane is never a good idea. So he clips the inside wall and we go right through him into third place. So now we're behind the Italian here, the Lazio, Lazio 11 INB or something, I don't know. So now we're right behind him. And after seeing what he did to the poor uh, Dutchman there, we, I thought to myself, I better be careful of this man before it goes all south. And yet, I still try to go for a move around the outside, and he start, and he tries to go in, in to the side of me, but then I break a bit early, as I saw it coming. However, as we go through this very fast uh, chicane here, once again, like I said, very easy to make a mistake on. Goes wide, hits the wall, and drops all the way, currently in P4, but it's now in P5, P6, P7, yeah, just basically not the happiest of incidents there. But th that was it pretty much until the end of the race, I just... Stayed in second place. I was unable to catch the leader, but no one from behind me caught me, so still a five second gap. I did get the fast slap though, which is what I was aiming for. And yeah, it was good enough. Obviously, if I think we were faster than the leader. If it wasn't for what happened, would have probably won the race. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because 80% of you are not actually subscribed, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.